Hello and welcome to my review of the old school Mora 546 in stainless Sandvik steel. Now the 546 at the bottom is the stainless 511 in the middle in the picture coming up here which is the finger guarded version of the 510 at the top. Now the 510 was a very popular but now discontinued knife in the bushcraft community and the 546 today's blade is very similar. I can never quite catch the 510 Fever. I think there are better offerings in the lineup, but at 10 bucks or so, anyone interested in a little Scandi knife should pick one up, if for nothing more than use and abuse. Now it's not a folder, but the flatter, shorter sheath make pocket carry an option. In fact, I carried the 546 in place of my everyday folders in the past without any problem. The handle's about four and a half inches long, and the blade's three and three quarter inches, with the typical .079 inch small blade stock. The handle's hard plastic with grippy stippling or pitting on the surface for a better purchase, and I think it works pretty good. Fit and finish is all right. The finger guard's a little funny looking, but it doesn't get in the way unless I'm cutting food on a board. And if you just can't stand the guard in 15 minutes, you can grind it down or even completely off with a Dremel tool. If you do this, it'll snap into the sheath and stay there anyway. Uh, you can see the typical unfinished spine of the lower end more is right here as well. Now the sheath coming up here is a normal bag of army men grade plastic but it's flatter and smaller than most making it fit in the pocket well enough. The belt loop is ridiculous but there's a buttonhole option if you happen to be a traditional Swedish craftsman and the 546 uses the same sheath of the 511 which is the same exact knife only in carbon steel and you can see it there. Application for this knife is mostly food prep and bushcrafting, but this little guy does well as a backpack backup too. I threw it in my Alice pack for a weekend on the Appalachian Trail this spring and it did just fine. Uh, you can see coming up here the Scandi Edge bites well into the dry maple I was chopping at, so it works good for that stuff as well. There's a tomato. You can really see the edge. The edge really takes a bite. A bite out of whatever you're putting in the Well, the 546 is a good option for an inexpensive Scandinavian blade if you're looking for a small beater. There's better options in the moral lineup, but uh, this guy might be a good one to tack on to the back of an order maybe, uh, just to try it out. You might like it better than me. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try and keep them coming.